Hi guys, my name's uh, Rob and you may have heard about me from Mr. Stalman. Uh, I'd like to say hi to uh, the Haberdashers Asks Preford Academy who've, uh, the Year 7 guys have got some questions for me. So basically I'm on Highway 160 at the moment which is uh, going from a very amusing place called Perump to Las Vegas. Um, famous for casinos, the desert, the band The Killers, if you like them, I do, I think they're great. Um, and many other things, uh, mostly today because I'm going to run there and um, it's about 40 miles away so I'll just show you some of the scenery before we get on and then we'll move on to your questions. As you can see, it's quite snowy today. It's been about minus two. And there's a big cloud coming over that hill, so I think I'm gonna get down the hill before it starts to put any more snow down. Because it's gonna be more fun, I think I'm gonna do these questions on the run. Um, Apologies if you can't understand my accents. I'm from Liverpool, so Mr. Starman might need to translate for you. I'm just going to start my watch. Here we go. So the first question, it's a really hard question. I had to think about it quite a while, especially because you've got good things in all the states. Uh, just which is your favourite state to run across? Now, they're all very different. Uh, when we started in Alabama, which is where Forrest Gump was from, hence the hat, uh, it was about 40 degrees and 100% humidity, so I'd have to change kit five times a day, and you could wring out the sweat into a cup. But the people there were so friendly, and it's the same in Mississippi and Louisiana. Uh, and then obviously we finished in California, so... California is really cool, finished in LA eh, on Santa Monica Pier, which is where Forrest ran clear the ocean for the first time. Uh, there's so many famous sites to see in Los Angeles and uh, Joshua Tree National Park. Then, before then, we had just a really wild place of New Mexico and Arizona. And in Arizona, there's a place called Tombstone and we were there for the night of the US election. Tombstone's famous for a very big gunfight in the Wild West. So it was quite weird to be there then. Felt like it was all gonna kick off. But uh, in the middle of all of that was Texas. And we ran from a place called Beaumont to a place called El Paso, which is right by the Mexican border. And uh, I went through big cities like Houston and Austin. Uh, the place is just huge. It was 890 miles across from one side to the other, which is longer than Land's End, John O'Groats. And it felt it. But we just saw we were there for a month and we just saw so much of the place. I met so many cool people just by weight of numbers and all the things we saw, I'd say Texas so far. But it's still open to a Still open to questions, so to Nevada, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, might get to go to some shows in Vegas, which will be cool. So we'll see. I'll let you have another quick look around, see what I'm seeing. So the next question is how far was I running every day? Uh, we've been averaging about 33 miles a day so far, which is about seven miles more than a marathon. Uh, and there's about 1.6 kilometers to a mile. So I'll let you guys do the math. Mr. Starman said you're very smart. Um, the longest I have done was 47 miles. Um, and in total today, I think we've reached 2,620 miles run, which is exactly the same distance as 100 marathons. 
clear, we get 100 marathons today, but you just realise that's quite exciting. <laughs> and so, as you can imagine on that time, we've seen a lot of things good and bad. And so brings us to the third question, which is what's the worst thing you've seen or you've had happen to you on the thingy? Now I'm just going to have to walk because I'm just going to go across the cattle grid and we very nearly had an answer to that question then which was dying by falling through a cattle grid um, the, the good has outweighed the bad but there's been a few bad things in uh, Louisiana I was running through what I thought was just normal grass but it wasn't, it was a complete swamp and I went in it up to my knees now in Louisiana you've got snakes and alligators in swamps so that was a little bit worrying um, we've seen a lot of dead wildlife on the road but like stuff that you would see in zoos like armadillos alligators snakes haven't seen any real snakes here, well alive but I've heard them I've heard them when I've like sort of gone off road for a little bit and that's of course is very worrying um, and one of the maybe the actual worst thing relates to the fourth question which is have you had any injuries now um, we were in Houston which is where I landed before I went over to um, Alabama I'll let you have a little look at the scenery again because you're probably getting bored of my face all the time and it's far more spectacular than me so yeah we went to Houston and um, I had a couple of friends visiting me and we were having lunch one day and one of my support crew said um, you're smashing this and like so it's my girlfriend so she's very keen to encourage me and make me feel confident but I was just like nah not yet not yet we're okay we'll say that once we get to the end and I got up from the chair and the chair creaked which isn't that surprising you know sort of a little plastic cheap chair but then I carried on walking and the chair was still creaking but it wasn't the chair it was me and one of my tendon sheaths to the outside of my shin uh, had been hurting me for a few days but when it was repairing it now decided to stick like glue to the tendon and every time I moved that glue would break uh, and it made me feel sick uh, those injuries often take around six to eight weeks to repair and so I called my physio in the UK and he said well you have to rest it and I said I can't so he goes well just do what you can do and if it doesn't hurt anymore you're okay go to a petrol station agonizing pain and uh, the lady behind the counter asked me what was wrong I told her to burst into tears which of course is fairly embarrassing you know boys can cry but you know sometimes we like to pretend that we shouldn't uh, and I went and sat outside and ate a pack of crisps and I felt much better after that Unfortunately, my leg was still sore, but I listened to the advice. And hey, we're here in Nevada. That was 2,200 miles ago, so we're doing all right. <laughs> so uh, you can overcome stuff. Don't stress about that. All right. So what inspired me to do the run? Question five. As Forrest said in the film, I just felt like running, which I did always wanted to run across America but my mum who's not around unfortunately anymore said that do one thing in your life that makes a big difference so I thought well this could be it decided to run for the World Wildlife Fund you may have heard of with the Panda and Peace Direct uh, a charity that helps resolve conflicts in Africa and Asia at the moment so I thought let's raise a load of money for them and people do great stuff all the time, whether it's swimming in the channel, uh, sitting in a bathtub of beans, jumping out of a plane, preferably with a parachute. And I just thought, well, let's do my run. 
but let's do it so people can identify with it and I hope so you know the film Forrest Gump it's quite old now not as old as me but it's old um, look at that isn't that amazing and um, everybody shouts to people who are running run Forrest run everyone knows the film they identify with it and I thought hang on if I try and do that so I completely shaved at the start of the run then I uh, decided to let the whole beard grow out and I'm not going to shave until I'm actually done so yeah hopefully people will identify with it and we'll raise a million pounds to charity if not more so it's changing already that little rocky outcrop on the left is probably a lot more representative of what Vegas is like normally I'll be able to get the sun cream on in a minute and so then the final question is have I met anyone famous on the route yet? well I've met uh, a former US Olympian called Cadavis Robinson who went to two Olympics including London uh, in the 800 meters uh, met one of Nike's top coaches Blue Benedum uh, and of course Mr Stallman who's possibly the most famous person that you need to know what an amazing teacher getting you to do stuff like this <laughs> making me out of breath well thanks very much for uh, sending me those questions it's been really cool for uh, me to just think about things and I'm going to leave you with a special treat you have to have very good eyesight but I've just come round this hill and I'm seeing this for the first time but in the distance all those skyscrapers that's Vegas baby yeah great stuff well hope you've enjoyed the chat and if you've got any other questions and stuff, I'd be more than happy to answer them. The website, which I'm sure Mr. Stallman's got, is www.goingthedistancerun.com And you'll be able to follow my adventure from there. So, this is Rob, signing out. See you later.